Hello and welcome to our channel all about home electronics. What you see on your video screen right now, it's an Xbox One console and a fairly typical flat screen TV. In this particular video, we're going to show you how to turn your TV on and turn it off through your Xbox console. Now, if you're not a subscriber, please hit the free subscription button at the bottom right of the screen. This way, anytime we publish new tips in the future, you automatically get notified and we're going to start right after this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make the setting adjustments in our television. This TV happens to be Vizio. I'm grabbing the Vizio TV remote. This is a Vizio branded remote. I locate the menu button for the TV and I press it. Now I want to scroll down to system. It might be a different word label in your TV, but in this TV it's called system. And once I'm in system, I'm going to locate CEC, CEC. I'm going to select that. It comes from the factory disabled. I want to enable it. And the purpose of this is to allow the electronic signal communication to take place between the TV and the Xbox console through your high-speed HDMI cable. Now, in some television situations, you might also need to find a standby power setting mode and set your TV to be in a standby power configuration so that the signal can come from the Xbox into the TV. That's not the case with our example, so we can't demonstrate it for you. Okay, so we want to exit out of that menu, pick up our Xbox controller, um, press the Xbox icon, and we want to go over to the gearbox and down to settings. Now we want to scroll down to power and startup and then over and down to power mode and startup. Now down to TV and AV power options. You'll notice that the option to set up a TV is available. We want to select that because we want to set our TV up within the Xbox console. Now we want to again select TV setup now, because the Xbox console is connected to your flat screen TV over an HDMI high-speed cable, in most cases, your Xbox console is going to automatically determine the make and brand of your TV, and it's going to automatically set it up, and that's the case here as well. Now select Next, Back, It's going to give us the device power options screen. Scroll over to the right. And what we need to do, we need to establish when the Xbox turns on, we want it to send a on signal. There are other options in the down arrow. On or toggle or nothing. In this case, we're selecting on because there is what is called a discrete power on signal that comes with this TV so we're not using toggle. If this TV does not have a discrete power on signal we would select toggle. When Xbox turns off send an off signal because this TV has a discrete off signal. If your TV does not have a discrete off signal then you can try toggle. But toggle gets confusing because if that signal doesn't actually make it to the TV, your Xbox might not know that. So in this case, we select off. And just a quick demonstration, we're going to turn the TV off. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below the video. If you like this video or it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe free to our channel. Here are a few video links we hope you might find useful.